This video is about Grok and XAI's three major goals. After this video, you'll also know where AI in general is heading because OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's BART are already copying what XAI is doing today. Our story begins in March of 2023. Elon Musk just invited his biographer Walter Isaacson to a secret meeting in Austin, Texas. What they were about to discuss was so sensitive that everyone even had to leave their phones behind. One of the topics they discussed was XAI. Musk told Isaacson that he personally hired Igor Babushkin, one of the leading AI scientists from Google's DeepMind. Musk assigned Babushkin three major goals for XAI, and Grok is now tackling them. But to understand the full picture and also see where AI will go next, we first need to go back in time. Musk had a rough childhood in South Africa, and as a teenager in the 1980s, he faced an existential depression. What pulled Musk out of it was the book The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in which Earth is portrayed as a supercomputer to fight the question to life, the universe and everything. However, in the story, Earth gets destroyed before it can find this question. And now this instilled in Musk a new existential worry about the future of humanity, which will eventually lead him to found Tesla, SpaceX, and now also XAI. The next thing you need to know about Musk is that he makes long-term plans and then faithfully executes them. To see this, we need to jump forward to 2006. Musk had just started Tesla and now published its secret master plan. This plan predicted the 2008 Roadster, the 2012 Model S, and even the 2017 Model 3. His other company, SpaceX, which he founded in 2002, pursues the even more long-term plan of colonizing Mars. What this shows is that Musk makes and executes plans over decades, and as we will see, this also applies to his new company, XAI. Now we jump forward to 2014. By now, Musk is worried that AI could threaten humanity. However, there are also others who don't care as much. Famously, Larry Page dismissed Musk's concerns, calling him a speciesist for favoring humans over other forms of intelligence. For this reason, Musk worried about Page's moral compass, and he tried to prevent Google from purchasing DeepMind, one of the leading AI companies at the time, but Musk failed. Because he couldn't prevent this acquisition, Musk and others, including Sam Altman, founded OpenAI. This AI lab was supposed to be open source and non-profit. That's why it's literally called OpenAI. However, Musk and Altman eventually split and OpenAI mutated into a closed-source, for-profit-driven partner of Microsoft. Now it's 2023. OpenAI launched ChatGPT and Google soon followed with BART. Like earlier, Musk still worried about AI safety, but now he was also worried that ChatGPT and BART might be politically indoctrinated potentially even possessed by something that he calls the Vogue mind virus. Musk's instinct to come to the rescue kicked in. Like earlier with Tesla, he developed a plan, and now in March of 2023, he invited Walter Isaacson to Austin, Texas, and shared this plan with him. Isaacson learned that Musk had shared three major goals with lead engineer Babushki. First, Make an AI bot that can auto-complete code in any programming language. Second, create a competitor to OpenAI's ChatGPT, but without the censorship. And third, build an AI to assist humanity in its quest for knowledge and understanding. XAI's new chatbot, Grok, aims to tackle all of them and already performs quite well in the first two. Next, it will work towards the goal of understanding and knowledge. Concretely, that means XAI will try to move on from mere language processing to deeply understand physics. When this is achieved, AI will be able to create new inventions on its own and will be able to push the human race forwards, much like it was done by creative humans for thousands of years until now. 
As XAI makes progress in that direction, OpenAI and Google will no doubt follow suit. Did you notice it? XAI is exactly Elon Musk's attempt to find the question to life, the universe and everything from his childhood Bible, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy.